वेलकम टू सुपर मनी सो इफ यू आर वन ऑफ दो किड्स हु हैव जस्ट पास आउट और जस्ट रिटर्न द फाइनल एग्जाम एंड यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब और यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट अ जॉब यू आर अर्निंग समथिंग यू आर डूइंग सम पार्ट टाइम वर्क यू आर गिविंग ट्यूशन्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड यू हैव स्टार्टेड अर्निंग मनी then uh, it is necessary for you to learn how to invest you uh, ideally you should start saving stroke investing from your first job from your first salary but that may not always happen so first of all let us go through a small uh, checklist of what all you should do to uh, be a good investor so one first of course is to start early uh, the earlier you start the uh, greater it is because Uh, if you don't understand what is compounding go to your class 7 or class 8 uh, mathematics book and find out what is the power, what is compounding you will understand what it is it's not so difficult it's not rocket science right second is to identify your goals what are your goals which you want to achieve 2 years 3 years 5 years uh, 30 years right uh, understand one thing that you it's too early to uh, think about retirement but you understand that you will need a big chunk of retirement for uh, anybody just starting out in life today the amount that you need could be something like 20 crores you did not know exactly how much you need but you need to know that you have to put away some money for that it's very difficult to prioritize something which you cannot visualize for a 22 year old it's easy to visualize maybe uh, his or her own higher education marriage uh, or things like that but it's very difficult for a 22 year old to think of what uh, he or she is going to require at 60 or 65 right so 40 years uh, it's very difficult to uh, uh, think that you are also going to retire but if you have got your first job find uh, go and read it because it also has your date of retirement so it's already fixed that on this date you're going to retire unless you start your own business so uh, better to plan for that also so identify your financial goals create a saving stroke investment plan uh, saving means you're earning 100 rupees you say you spend Uh, 20 30 rupees and you save 70 rupees or you spend 70 rupees and you save uh, 30 rupees whatever depending on your circumstance then you decide that you will save that money saving is step 1 of uh, accumulating money for being invested ideally the minute you save it should uh, get uh, invested that's the best but there could be a gap between your saving and your investing saving you have to learn investing you have to learn and you have to also understand that there is a difference between the two in case you have any debt uh, pay it off if you have a student loan which you are paying over 7 years or 8 years then you can continue that but anything other than that if you have a, uh, some vehicle loan or if you have a, some personal loan some travel which you did with your friends etc pay that off because uh, paying that off is the smartest investment decision that you can do uh, in case you are uh, taking up a job or taken up a job and you have a choice please opt for the provident fund not because provident fund is the greatest thing that happened uh, to human life but Uh, your uh, your um, co- employer also contributes towards it the fact that he is also contributing uh, makes it good for you because uh, you will get a higher return simply because he is also contributing and uh, it is also tax deductible so between a ppf if your parents forced you to open one uh, anyway i also think it's a good idea to open and put at least 500 rupees a year or 1000 rupees a year which i think is the minimum now so 1000 rupees a year into your uh, ppf uh, then whatever is your uh, provident fund epf as it is called uh, and your elss right so this combination of yours should be 150000 uh, like 150000 like rupees should be these three put together because this is your atc benefit why am i talking about all this because you are young you have just taken up your job maybe your job is paying you 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs for it so it's worth saving trying to save at least 3 lakhs out of it it's difficult but try right so if you can save because you'll save some tax you'll save decent amount of tax of course if you require only 1 lakh of atc for saving tax then make sure that the sigma of all three that is your uh, uh, your uh, provi- uh, provident fund epf employee provident fund your public provident fund plus your real assets should be uh, you should be able to take the full benefit of atc the maximum is 1 lakh 50 if you can reach only 80000 and that's what you need because your income is only 3 lakh or something like that or 3 like 30 uh, so be it but if your income is 6 7 lakhs then try to make sure that you max out this 1 and 1/2 lakhs of taxation savings right 
uh, getting yourself a financial advisor is not a bad thing to do unless of course you can find some financial advice at home let's say your father is a mutual fund distributor or an LIC agent then also be uh, careful of the bias that he has because uh, or she has your mother or father could be then they believe that only this is the best insurance company this is the best mutual fund things like that they get biased so make sure that you get yourself an advisor and check out all those facts and or or also start reading uh, go to uh, websites like SEC, uh, SEBI, Subramani, uh, you know, all those places and try learning as much as possible because the greatest return you get, the best ROI is on education. You finished your formal education, now you get into understanding personal finance also. Understand your risk tolerance, how much risk can you take? You cannot take the same amount of risk as your friend. Maybe, you are, maybe your father is a vice president, your mother is a doctor, so you can take much higher risk than a friend who can't take that risk because he is supporting his family or he is, has to support his family. He's just started supporting. He's got younger uh, children, uh, siblings who are studying. So his parents uh, expect him to start contributing to the household expenses. Uh, right. So then that person may not have that much money to invest or save as you can. So don't your friend's risk tolerance is not your risk tolerance. You have to know what is your risk tolerance, which could be very different from your brother, friend, brother, whoever it is. Right. Uh, understand investing fees, understand how you will pay a uh, financial advisor, understand all the risks in financial products. You are still young, so learn to read labels. The biggest uh, contribution parents can make to children is teaching them how to read food labels and financial labels. So make sure that you learn. If your parents know, learn from them. If your parents don't know, learn from a financial advisor or try going to websites where you can learn it by yourself. Uh, once you start investing, you will start. You will get something called an uh, the NSGL or the CDSL will send you a statement. Make sure that you understand how to read that statement, what that statement tells you, how much is your investment, what is the return that you are getting, how much is the fees that you are paying. All that is visible there. So decide to use all that. And uh, so this is the way you start about doing your investment. So you've set yourself budgets, uh, what goals do I want to achieve and all that you have checked out. You have checked out all your investment options. You, you look for an advisor, maybe you found one. Uh, think of all the short term investments, long term investments create a budget uh, you've already set your uh, step one we said was setting your goals do all that learn that there are some fixed expenses like your housing rent groceries uh, some basic travel how nothing change how those things are not really uh, negotiable that's fixed your taxation is fixed uh, I just just assuming that your 20% tax which means after the 100 rupees that you earn, 20 rupees is, belongs to the government of India start looking at just that 80 rupees that is why an SIP helps. When you get that 80 rupees, another 10 rupees goes away for SIP. So you're left with 70. Now you learn how to live on 70 or 60 or 50, whatever your number is, right? So uh, pay off all the high interest cost uh, debt in case you have any uh, any debt that you have other than a mortgage or a uh, the educational loan. Uh, pay off all that before you start investing. Uh, understand that uh, the the power of compounding works for everybody. It worked for your grandfather, worked for your father, it will work for you. The younger you are, the lesser the amount of money that you need to invest. In fact, uh, this book of mine, uh, you can see the word retire rich. The byline is invest rupees 40 a day. So if you're 21, 22, then that book is for you. It is meant to invest 40 rupees a day. I wrote this long back. I, when I wrote this, uh, why 40? The 40 was the dollar rate, right? To the do do dollar is say 80. So maybe you should say invest 80 rupees a day. Far more importantly, you should increase it by a 5% or a 10% on an annual basis. That's the way you increase your uh, the power of compounding with a bigger amount, right? So join your uh, taken your PA have taken your PPF, you have reached 150,000. Research all investments. If something is too good to be true, believe me, it's not true. Make sure that you don't lose your data which is kept online. So be careful about that. Younger people obviously know more about uh, online stuff. Don't get overconfident. There are uh, websites which will get you addicted to gaming, addicted to <coughs> FNO, addicted to equity trading. Equity trading is not the same as equity investing, right? So understand one thing, you finished your education, you have done all that. You can of course sit at home and watch uh, reality TV, but it's very important that you 
come to reality and in uh, reality for achieving your goals you need investments it's as simple as even if you are going to inherit money even if you have inherited money from your grandfather it does not mean or great grandfather it does not mean you know how to manage it you have to learn how to manage it it's your job thank you